guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Amy and thanks for hanging out with me today. I recently made a video showing you guys my closet essentials for winter, but that was more of a practical and functional version and category for winter. The things that really helped me embrace the cold, but today I'm going to break it down even more and show you guys my top I think I have five or so. There is six on the rack, but one of them kind of bleeds in with the other, so I'm gonna say five. I have five essential coats and jackets for you guys today for the winter and early spring season. I see a lot of people already creating content for spring fashion, so I was like, okay, gotta get on that train. So that's what we're doing today. You guys are already aware that I have a pretty big obsession with coats especially long wool coats and obviously that's going to be in the video as well but I do have a well curated kind of selection of coats and jackets that I think is necessary for me, my closet essentials, for the remainder of winter and going into early spring. So if you guys are curious, make sure to stick around for the rest of the video and now let's go ahead and jump into it. Before I start showing you guys the outerwear, I wanted to do a breakdown of my base layer for today. Everything will be linked in the description as well as my sizing measurements, anything that would be helpful for you to maybe shop or reference for sizing. It's all going to be in the description, just FYI. Let's go ahead and start off with jewelry. I have on a layering necklace here. I'm gonna get closer. This is by Ana Luisa, and I have some rings here that are also from Ana Luisa. Um, I'm not working with Ana Luisa in this video, but I just wanted to tell you guys, I don't have earrings on today, like in my main hole, which is odd because I usually have earrings on, but I don't today. I love putting on jewelry in simple outfits just because it makes everything look a little bit more sophisticated. I have this very basic long sleeve shirt. It's very soft and cozy and it is a tan slash camel color. I thought this would basically go with any of the coats that I have for today. And I have these kind of mom fit jeans. I absolutely love this pair. It's super high-waisted, goes above my belly button, and it cuffs at the bottom. I didn't cuff them myself, it actually came cuffed. So yeah, but these fit me so, so, so well. I love it, and this outfit will basically go with all of the coats that I'm going to be showing you. I will go ahead and link these in the description as well if I can find the exact ones. Let's go ahead and start off with the obvious. You guys know how much I love my wool coats and this one is an extra special one because it is recycled wool as well as being handmade. So the craftsmanship in this is so, so nice. Obviously you can find other ones that are more affordable and or that are wool blend instead of pure wool. I believe this actually is wool blend. So it's not like 100% pure wool or anything. This one is a really nice silhouette. I love a wool coat that is in a neutral color scheme, such as it could be a tan slash camel. You can also go for a white or gray or black. Um, did I already say black? I'm not sure, I don't remember. <laughs> I have a couple of wool coats to show you because that is the category that I love the most and I just could not narrow it down to just showing you guys one. This one has got to be one of my favorites because there's just something about a camel coat that just looks so timeless and classic. I just think it elevates any outfit so, so well. So this actually comes with a belt as well. It doesn't have any zippers or buttons, so it's very minimalistic and very elegant looking. It doesn't have any bells or whistles. It's just a very nice overcoat. A feature that I absolutely adore about oversized coats like this is that they are so versatile where you can make sure that it is super bundled up and warm by layering a lot of clothing inside because it does have a lot of room in the arms and everything you would still be able to really bundle up under this however when we go into spring it starts to get a little bit more sunnier and the weather starts getting a little bit warmer this is still appropriate for that climate because it is such a thin kind of material. It's not bulky at all. I just feel like this is such a convenient coat because it is fairly lightweight. It's not super, super bulky where it's uncomfortable to like carry around or have on you. I have one that is a black color. You guys know I need a black coat 
and this is my new favorite black coat. This one is actually lined inside, unlike the tan one. So it's a little bit thicker. However, the material is very different. This is a little bit more structured while that one, the tan one, was a little bit more looser fit and flexible. I believe this is a wool blend as well. So it does have a little bit more of that firm material. <laughs> This has bigger collars and these have pockets here, which is very convenient. And I'm so sorry if you see all of Romper's fur on this because this coat definitely attracts a lot of fur and lint. <laughs> this is just a classic black button down coat. I also have this one from Zara and this is a wool coat as well. This one is a little bit more slimming and fitted. So it does hug your curves a little bit more. I like this one because it does look very formal and elegant. So if I did want to dress up or if I have business meetings, I guess I would wear this. Not happening right now with COVID, but when I have business meetings and I get to actually see people out, not in Zoom meetings, then I would wear this because it does look a little bit more formal and less casual. This is like not a crisp white color, but a white coat is also something that I really love during the winter to spring time because it's very clean and crisp and I just love the color white for everything. Yeah, so this is another option if you do like a more fitted look instead of that looser baggy oversized look. This one is a trench coat, so a different style of coat. Definitely more for weather that's not extremely cold. This would be perfect for early spring. I love a good trench coat. It just never goes out of style. Something that is a staple in anyone's closet, I think. And this silhouette is really beautiful. This is by Abercrombie and it does have a belt as well. So you can belt it in, but it also does close with these button fixtures. It does have a very nice kind of like waterfall like structure. It's not lined inside, so you can definitely put some layers under it if you'd like. It's fairly lightweight and would be great to take on and off during the spring when it starts getting a little bit warmer. There's just something about a nice trench coat that really dresses up an outfit, but without looking like you're trying too hard. It's like one of those like in-between pieces that have a really good balance. This one I think is a little bit more appropriate when it is still winter, but definitely early spring as well when the days are a little bit chillier. This is a cropped corduroy puffer jacket, and I got this this season actually on Amazon because I saw this in store at a boutique and I just could not find it anywhere else. And then I just randomly decided to search it on Amazon and they had it and I was so stoked to have this. It is by, I forgot the brand, I think it's RVCA. And I got it in a size extra small and it fits me so, so perfectly. It is still very oversized, so it does look a little bit puffy on me, which I actually enjoy the look of. You definitely don't need a layer under this because this will keep you very, very warm. I love the texture of corduroy. And like I said, I love my winter whites and going into spring, white just looks really, really nice and feminine. It's just such a vibe. It makes me feel like a little marshmallow. Last but not least, I have this really lightweight jacket from Lululemon and it is a quilted jacket. <laughs> um, I don't know what else to say about it, but it is such a pretty jacket and it is fairly warm because of the fabric. It's very comfortable and these are kind of a more casual sporty look because of the quilted pattern and the structure of this is very like loose. It does have a lot of room in the arms, which I really like because then I can still wear a sweater underneath this and it won't constrict me. You can also zip this up all the way so that your neck is not exposed for those colder days. A quilted jacket is so on trend right now and I have this in just a black color. It gives a really nice texture, so it's a little bit more fun and unique than a typical just like a plain jacket. Outerwear, I don't mind spending a little bit more money on because they definitely are a little bit more of an investment and they last forever. I 
don't ever really have to get rid of my jackets unless they are not my style anymore or I accidentally damage them or ruin them. I just don't mind spending a little bit more money on outerwear. They are definitely more of my investment pieces. And that is everything, you guys. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if there are any other categories that you would like to see for these types of closet essential videos of mine. I would love to know your feedback and video requests, so let me know below. Remember to like this video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you want to stick around. We're trying to get to 2,000 subscribers. And I will talk to you guys in the comments. Bye.